Bafun, 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 eh. Mo fe gbe fomo yen. Skilla, skilla. The next thing I have is rose. I wrote rose and stuff. <laughs> um, I can't remember any rules. Um, basically, in the dress code, um, going to church early, you know, signing your card. Um, what else? Coffee. I've talked on those ones. Um, well, what other rules? No use of drugs, you know. No, in, um, no, no cases of insubordination. No, you guys know what insubordination is. No, you shouldn't like see if you have a problem with like a portal or anything. It's better for you to not talk to the person than for you to challenge the person because the person can now go and take it as you but, um, engaging in insubordination, which is wrong. So I don't know what I mean about any other rules. If I remember any other thing, I'll put down the the um, description below. Okay, then I'm talking about the events that we have in Bakwe Now, this is the fun part. Um, starting from, let me start from first semester. In first semester, we have... Um, in first semester, what, what do we have? The major thing we have in first semester that everybody looks forward to is Feast of Light. Um, that is like, it's like the Christmas carol program. It's like the school, every, the whole school, sometimes including the high school, they oh, gather yes, at the... They gather at the um, stadium. And then there are performances by people like if you want to perform, you just have to like go there, meet them, write your name down. You know, they have to know what you're performing, not something that is not um poem appropriate, you understand what I'm saying? So like it's just it's really fun actually because there's the candles, there's the fireworks, like it's amazing. I did a video of last year's own, so if you want to see that, it's there in my on my channel. So just go to my channel, you see it's I think it's like my third or fourth video back when you see Feast of Lights. You see it, see how it looks like. I know that video was not the best, but like you'll still be able to understand and enjoy how it is in person if you come. Um, the next thing I wrote down is week of prayer. <laughs> I know it's not like week of prayer, week of prayer is like okay now there is week of prayer and there is week of spiritual emphasis. Week of spiritual emphasis is the one we do in church in our churches. Like they send their Adventist um, students. You know, Adventist youth to come and preach. Then week of prayer. Now that's the major one that happens in second semester. It happens around I think the end of January, entering into February sometimes. And then the whole school has to go to the stadium for it. They invite a preacher from um from another country, and then the preacher talks to us from Monday to Friday to Sabbath, right? From Sabbath to I think it's from Sabbath to Friday. Yeah, start, I think it starts on Sabbath evening, ends on Friday, on Sabbath morning. So, yeah, that's how it works. It's something, it can be fun if you're staying with your friends. So, yeah. Yeah, another thing about the churches is you don't get to pick your church. Um, as a holy level student, you are distributed in different churches. Um, like me now, when I was in holy level, the way they distributed us was according to our room numbers. So, you just pick that like, from this room to this room, everybody's in this church. So, like, if you see your, like, next door room is the, like, Everybody's like in the same room and it's just like, it, it's, it's kind of fun, sometimes it can be annoying because maybe if you have babies or whatever, you're not the person in the hall, you're the person in the church and all. So yeah, then another thing about the hostels, sometimes they don't, don't expect to be in the same room as your um, classmates. Sometimes they do it that they put like maybe two people in the same course in one room, but it's not always like that. Um, I would say that it's very advisable, okay, I'm just going to keep the advice for the end, so I'm going to advise you guys at the end. Um, another, another event that we have is Freshers Fest. When I had my book, it was Freshers Nights. Freshers Nights. I think it was Freshers Nights when I entered that I didn't go, like, in my whole 100 level, 200 level, 300 level, I have never gone for any program, like any event. Like, never paid tickets, like, to go for a program. I don't know, I'm just like an industry. I don't like all those gathering things, so I don't go. But, like, it's always really fun. Freshers Fest is um, Freshers Fair. Or Freshers Fest, which is what they're now doing now, is like it's sometimes a week. It's a week program. The um, final one, I think, it's on Sunday. I think Sunday evening or so. I can't really remember right now. But like they have a fair. Basically, you guys know what a fair is. People come and they sell clothes, jewelry, everything. But be very careful. Those people actually come here to scam people. Not like they will take your money or they will not give you, but like the prices they call is just outrageous. They just feel like, oh, back up students. And then because they know that, oh, freshers, they will not be like calling high prices. And there's some freshers that just spend all their pocket money on buying clothes that probably they'll get things from them. So everybody should be careful, you know, also be careful with your bags at such places because the people that are coming there, they're from outside. 
yeah and um another one is departmental week yes this shirt i have seen me wearing now i got it during my departmental week in accounting department so departmental week is a week-long event that like it suggests so it's not really week long it's monday to thursday then Starbucks, which is then given so on mondays most of the time on mondays is um corporate day seminar day tuesdays and karate so Tuesday and Friday, Wednesday, Chef's Day and Sports Day. Um, Thursday is the dinner. The dinner is in the evening on Thursdays. On Saturday is Thanksgiving. So, yeah, the Pamela weeks are always really fun. It's like the dinners. You get to dress up, do makeup, you know. Although we don't use. I don't think I forgot to mention. Oh my goodness, I can't remember repeat it, but I forgot to mention this. No jewelry in Bangkok University. <laughs> she said, I can't believe that. I literally forgot to mention that. No jewelry, you can't wear earrings in Bangkok. So if you are somebody that wears earrings at home, fine and cool, but don't bring it to Bangkok if they see they'll see it. You know. I mean if you're someone that do them that is like into modeling, you to take a look at pictures or you have plans to take a lot of pictures. I mean there are people in the school that sell because um it's I think people that sell are like people that are in higher levels. So it's easier for them to like take it in. But you fresh out, they're going to be very strict to you guys if they're checking you guys. So be very careful because they're going to tell you to test all your clothes like there and there. They open your box and everything. So be very careful. If you no jewelry, no necklace, no rings, nothing. If you are a married person coming for your PhD, or I think they allow people for their PhD and masters if they are married. But like if you're a student that is married, because I know that there are some people that are older and they're married and they're coming in. Um, I think there's a way you have to register it for you to be able to do it. If you have tattoos, there's also a way you have to register your tattoos and everything before you come in. Because if you're caught with a tattoo on your body, um, and it's not and you are, like you don't have the proper um, documentation for it or something. I don't know how it goes because I don't have a tattoo. I don't have rings, nothing like that. But I feel like there's a process for it because I've heard that there is. And also if you want to have a card, there's also a process to register that and to get that VGM allowed but i feel like there is no point in having a card because even if um things are quite far everything is in walkable distance from everywhere so like why would you get a car be wasting fuel when you can just walk and then there, there are um cares that take you around so you just people snare and go like instead of spending money on fuel you know that kind of thing so yes um that is um departmental week then whole week whole week is hosted by your hall of residence it is a whole week like i said your whole can decide to have a program every single day or just have um, the Sunday evening. Sunday Sunday afternoon is open day. So the halls are open. You can invite your male friends to come to your hostel as a girl, as a boy, you can invite your female friends to come. Different things normally go down during this period. So everybody should be careful because if you are caught, you are going home. Like there's no you're never going to go to party, you just go home. So yes. Um yeah, those are some of the things I can remember. Then there's also church week. Um, so your church can have ladies week, men's week, you know, those kind of things. And also graduating class week for graduating students. So this this semester, next semester, are going to be my turn to enjoy the graduating class programs and all. Yes. Um, yes, about the church thing. The churches have different departments. I am in testimony chapel, so if anybody is watching this video is in testimony chapel, please endeavor to join the department because it's actually really fun because sometimes sitting in church can be boring. So if you're in a department then it helps. There's the ICT department, the department that does everything that is related to sound system, projection and everything. And then there is um there's the welfare department, which I mean. There is the treasury department, there's the ushering department, there's the chaplaincy department. So just make sure that you are in one department or another and try to be as um engaged as possible to avoid being bored about everything um another thing church venues the church venues are located in um the hostels so how does we every hostel has not every most hostels because <laughs> um i think um new wilson and happy Lago do not have um ones they use most hostels host host uh, <laughs> can't talk <laughs> most hostels have um 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 bro i forgot the name of this place is activity yes. halls activity halls yes most hostels have activity halls where the churches are the held hotel. that is where they also do some dinners they also have some programs so activity halls are where the churches are um, are 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 um are Located, yeah, located. Oh my god, I don't know why I can't think of the words because I probably because this video has been going on for so long and I've been cutting it halfway, doing things and coming back is continue and going out across the campus, continue. So my parents have gotten back, everybody's back home now. 
you know so okay yes another thing i wanted to mention is if you are someone that's really really um, strict about you going to church and your parents want you to still go to church and stuff on sundays like still go to church on sundays there is an um there is an opportunity for you to go to church every sunday so you can go to church every sunday but you have to fill your pass <coughs> before thursday you have to fill your pass before thursday i think church pass is filled on wednesday and thursday they long distance pass yes okay yes i'm going to talk about passes now um passes we have two types of passes we have long distance and short distance passes long distance pa um, passes are um the passes you take if you are going i think farther than shagam i think from um like farther than shagam farther than the market the surrounding areas of Bakos. so if you want to go like to your house in lagos you want to go to the state you want to travel out of the state itself like for a program that is very urgent um you can use long distance passes long distance passes are not just given just like that you have to go through a process of filling a form if you're going to have miss classes then you have to take a different form which you will use to fill meet your lecturers your lecturers have to sign that form you know and then your hod has to sign it and also it's a very long process to fill long distance um, forms if you're just going home for the weekend as friday saturday you come back on sunday then you don't have to fill all those forms as long as you don't have any classes on friday that are clashing it is so yes um and um, short distance passes. So I told you short distance passes are for like people surrounding places. So if you just want to go out on like a weekday, depending, they don't always just give you like that. Even if you want to go and make your hair, you have to have a very good reason. And they have to, they will either decide not to give you or to give you. And also, you can use it to go to church on Sundays, which I was talking about initially. You can go to church on, church on Sundays. You take your pass on one Thursday. You make sure you take your pass on Thursday before 5 p.m. Because if you don't take your pass on Sunday, then you're not able to leave on Saturday. Um, on, on Sunday to the church. So um, the most common church that Bangkok University students um, um, frequent is Potter's um, Place Parish. It's a within church, P3, that nickname. And um, what they've done is they've made buses available, coaster buses, all these long coaster buses available to pick the students from the school gates. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> yes, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. They've made buses available to pick the students from the school gate, take them to the church, and also bring them back to the school gate. So that is really, really convenient. I also know that there's an Anglican church, there's a Baptist church not too far away. So, yes, if you're someone that wants to still go to church on Sundays, even if it's once in a while, I would say that it is very first one. You can still do that. Um, yeah, I think that's the. Uh, okay, then the, the teaching hospital. When you enter the school, you go through a lot of medical programs, uh, medical tests, sorry, and then they test you the, for HIV, you know, pregnancy and everything, like different diseases, they give you immunization, you know, and all that. They just want to make sure that you're coming in, you're coming in without any illness at all. They are supposed to be notified if you have any illness, if you are asthmatic patient, if maybe you have seizures, if you have different conditions, epilepsy, you know, so that they can know that anytime you come into the hospital, they have those details, you know. And also, if in the course of a treatment and you have a fear stick and they find out that, oh, you're pregnant, they know that, okay, this pregnancy is a recent one and they can send you home. <laughs> so, yes, be very careful. Everybody has to be really careful. Yes, they steal. People steal. People steal. People steal clothes. People steal clothes, so they steal clothes. So, like, if you can get your own, um, you know this baby dryer that people normally have, if you can get something like that that you spread your clothes on, fine. If you can't, you're sending your clothes downstairs and you have to spend it in a place where you can see from your room so that like and then i don't know if it's but it's good to get clothes that are distinct distinctive like clothes that like colors that pop like not black you don't get a lot of black things because people say a lot of black so if you wash your black skirt you know you should endeavor to like either dry it in your room or if you keep it outside keep it somewhere you can think and all that so yeah okay another thing is friday cleaning like I'm just like now these other things I'm saying now I didn't write them down I'm just going up off my head. So Friday is uh, I mean, Friday is, is the beginning of Sabbath. Sabbath. So on Fridays by three in most of the hostels there's something called Friday room inspection. Now Friday room inspection is your hostel resident assistant or your senators at the beginning of the semester go around and check your rooms. They give you scores and all, and then they give first second third rooms on each block. So most halls have four blocks. A, B, C, D, but some halls have A, B, C, D, E, F, you know, some halls have G, G, F, um, G, F, T, F, S, F, um, S, F, yeah, I think something like that, I don't know how boys do their own, but like, 
TF, I don't even know how they do this show, but like FF, FFF, whatever, I don't know, okay, yeah, I think it's GFFFTF, GFFFSFTF, yes, so that's how they do it, like, ground floor, first floor, second floor, and top floor, so, uh, top floor, third floor, you understand what I'm saying, so like, they give each first position, well, first to third on each block, and sometimes during her worship, they give gifts to those people, you know, so, yes, um, I think that has come to the end of this video. I will see if I think of any other thing. I know you guys are resuming on Sunday. I wish all of you good luck, you know, in everything you're doing. I pray that you guys don't get sent home because I know people that have come and before even matric, matric is normally in November. Before matric, some people are already going home. Cause, so that's just bad because you pay your how many million or you pay your how many thousand and then you just go home just like expulsion, suspension before you even start spend 400 level yeah, before your name is even written in pen like they say your name was still written in, in them pencil <coughs> and you, you are already going home so like everybody should maintain themselves you know don't try to challenge anybody just come with clothes that you need and nothing extra you know don't bring to see one thing about it um, so one thing you need to know is don't bring too much clothes to show up because they'll just steal it and then it should just be stupid like you just waste their money, you just really close, they just stole it don't bring too much clothes, don't be dirty because if you are dirty, your roommates will legit go and talk about you outside and you'll get embarrassed you know, so yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video <clears throat> oh my god, I can't believe I filmed this video to the end because I've been wanting to film this video for a very long time so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends. If you are a fresher and you want to do a video with me, I'm very open to that. So just check in the description below for my social media and you can hit me up. You know, we can talk on WhatsApp. If you just DM me and then I'll give my number. We can link up in school, you know, have fun. Just be very good people. You know, we can be good friends and I love you. Also, if you guys are looking for makeup artists for your matric or <sighs> wedding photo shoots for anything, just hit me up. I know a lot of people. I might put their social media down in the description if I remember. If I do not, just let me know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. See you guys in my next video. If you want me to do any more things about backup, tell you more things. If you have more questions, yeah, you can also let me know down in the comments below. Share it with your friends so you get to the rest of boy that wants to go to Bacco University can be informed. So, yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you. Malu the girl, cause I give her what she want And she give me what she don't want, yeah. She give me what she want